Hey, it's Ken Gaddy with YouTube channel GameBiz, and I am here to storm the Jihara Shrine in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for the Nintendo Switch. It is located here behind this giant wall. In fact, you may have seen a slight flash of orange as I was landing through the hinges. Unfortunately, you can't push this door open. You can't magnesis this door open. And where is this door anyway? It is in the Kopiki Drifts of the Hebra Mountain region in northwestern Hyrule. And the way you get it open is not with a bomb. But you have kind of the right idea, because you need to use something that's sort of bomb-shaped. By bomb-shaped, I mean a snowball. That's right, you grab this snowball. Or any of the snowballs, really. There's three of them, so you get three shots at this. And you'll notice that leading up to the door, it's almost like a driveway that was half plowed before getting snowed in again. Just like happens every winter here in New England. And you walk up that path. There are these gullies and ridges and drifts, but you want to stay between the drifts. You want to stay inside the chute, basically. And sort of just keep walking up it. It's going to twist and turn a little bit. But just keep going up as high as you can. And take your snowball with you. And just keep going. Just keep going all the way up. As high as you can. As far away from the door as you can. With your snowball. Stay within the drifts. Just follow them whichever direction they're going in. And when you get all the way to the top... You turn around, and you drop that ball. And you can follow it if you want, because you're going to see it getting bigger. It's going to accumulate snow as it goes. It's going to follow all those same twists and turns that you took. Until it finally goes the wrong way. Great. So that means that I followed the wrong drifts, and I went the wrong way. So let's try that again. So grab the second snowball, go all the way up here, be mindful that you're staying between the correct drifts apparently. Let's see, I went the wrong way last time, so let's try going this way, shall we? It's sort of like a giant pachinko machine, you want to start the ball in the right spot. Oh no, oh no, I lost my ball, but you know what, we can work with this. Is it going to hit the door hard enough? No. No, it does not. We can't work with this. Okay. So that means we have one last, third, final chance to get this right. So let's grab this snowball. And we're going to go all the way up here. Now you saw that if it is of insufficient size and it hits the door, it explodes, which doesn't do us any good. But if it is of sufficient size and it hits the door, but not fast enough or hard enough, we might get a slightly different reaction. So let's try that. Let's see what happens here. Oh, poop. Well, that was no good. All right, we have one last way to get this we're going to freeze this, use our Master Sword, and knock it up and over the ridge. And... just where we wanted it. Great. Now it's not exploded, but it's not moving either, but it will be once we freeze it and hit it a whole bunch of times with our sword. Oh, that's my Guardian Sword. I thought I was using my Master Sword. Oops. And that works! It's, uh, not as planned. But, one of the things you learn when playing Breath of the Wild is to be creative. And that got me where I needed to go, to the Gihara Shrine. Just like I promised. So, I'm gonna go ahead and tag that so I can fast travel back here. I can play the snowballs any other time, but for now, I'm interested in getting the Spirit Orb that's in the Gihara Shrine. So let's go ahead and go down into the Gihara Shrine and get the orb that isn't a snowball. And here we are in the shrine where it's warmer so we can switch our armor if we need to. And by we, I mean me, because I'm the one who's playing. I thought for a second there might be a battle shrine, but it's not. Instead, it is to you who sets foot in this shrine. I am Gihara. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. It is Tandem. 
tandem. Like a cat's cradle, maybe? So we got a button here. If we can just drop that down, it'll hit the button. I think the level is assuming that we have an arrow. Which we do. We have 64 of them, just like the Nintendo system of the same name. That worked. But at what point will we need to do that in tandem? Let's find out. Left or right? Right? Left. Left has fewer torches. It has a button and a door. And a ball up... Oh, it, it swings. So it can swing left or right. Depending on which one you shoot. And same thing here. This time we have to shoot both of them. How is that you... Oh, I know how that's possible. So you freeze it. And then you shoot them. There. Perfect. And there's the spirit orb. Well, let's go over here and find out what we can get from this first. Now, there's no reason I can see it to make it swing left. So let's make sure it swings right. Well, that was easy. And it stays there, too, in case the button felt like not being depressed. Too bad. Diamond. I'll take it. It's not as lucrative as ten luminous stones, which you can turn into a diamond, oddly enough. But you do need the diamond to recreate any of the Guardian's weapons, which aren't all that great weapons, in my opinion. Maybe there's some hidden reason to have them. I don't know yet. But anyway... Bing! Bush. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. Aw, oh, gee whiz. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. That was not a difficult shrine. It was really one of a... one gimmick shrine. Hey, spirit orb. A symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. May the goddess smile upon you. May the goddess give me some difficult shrines, and I'll be here to record them for all you viewers of YouTube channel GameBits. Stay tuned.